what's up everybody welcome back to a couple of the kingdom thank you so much for joining today i'm sipping on some psalm coffee you can go to our instagram in the description and get yourself some espresso or get yourself a medium blend it's delicious today i'm drinking a um chocolate milk latte so it's just a shot of espresso some chocolate milk stir it up call it a day so today i want to talk about relationships and how our culture has kind of how society has skewed our minds and perspectives of what should we expect in a relationship or what should be um, allowed and what shouldn't or where our boundaries are and this has just been very relevant for me i mean until i met my fiance i had been in really toxic relationships like super unfulfilling super draining made me feel very self-conscious and i just want to kind of break that stigma and break um and just bring awareness like open up a conversation about how our society views dating and hookup culture and all these types of things and like why are some things normalized when that's not how relationships should be so I'm going to kind of dive into our culture and our views on dating. So I feel like at this day and age, it's a huge hookup culture. Everything is about hit it and quit it. No commitment. Like, um, we are, we don't have feelings. We're just going to, um, have sex with people and we're not going to associate that with anything. We don't want to talk to them afterwards, or maybe we're just using them for sex and we just want no strings attached relationships that is pretty much our society or people will want that no strings attached but they won't tell you that they'll just kind of lead you on get what they want from you and then they gaslight you and ghost you and then you're like uh, thinking to yourself what did I do wrong or maybe you go into that relationship knowing that it's just going to be a hookup thing but when sex becomes involved or you hang out with that person all the time or you talk to them for multiple months it's not like you can just drop that person it's not like those feelings haven't been developed like even if it's not romantic feelings I mean you talk to that person every day you're not just going to talk to someone who you don't like you're not just going to have conversations or open up with people or be intimate with people you don't like that just doesn't even make sense and I know that you could go to a club and meet someone and whatever but I'm talking about the ongoing talking situationships type deal and I've been in many of those like even in my first year in college I was talking to this guy who we pretty much were dating but he wouldn't claim me he wouldn't um hold me down or lock me down if that make any sense he wanted to have all the benefits of being in a relationship but not actually be my boyfriend and I was just so manipulated and I was so young I mean I was 18 but I mean I still didn't have so much experience when it came to relationships to understand what was going on or how I was being manipulated how I was being gaslighted um to feel like if him cheating on me if I found out like I shouldn't be upset because I should already know what this relationship is I shouldn't be upset or call him out because um it's not his fault he already told me what our relationship was gonna be so I can either take it or leave it um and that type of thing and that's really hard to deal with when you go into something thinking that you guys are gonna talk or whatever the case is and then you grow feelings for them and then when they when they feel like you're too attached to them they have to just be like oh wait what do you mean what do you mean what did you think that this was we just date or we just hook up and we just cuddle and we talk and we go on dates and we do everything that relationships do but you're not my girlfriend but you're not my boyfriend how like that's a mental game that is a mental manipulation and i need people to understand that it's okay to feel some type of way about that it really is it's okay to feel like what is going on like that's not right that's not how relationships are supposed to go and that's not healthy I know that some people might be like well I got myself into this situation I'm talking to this guy he doesn't respect me but I really like him and he kind of gives me that bit of attention that I love and that I crave and that I need and so he gives me a little bit he gives me a little bit and I just keep taking as much as I can get but if he breaks my heart I should know that um what our relationship was from the beginning right well in a sense yes you should be conscious of the situation you're putting yourself into 
I agree. But I don't think that we should shame ourselves for developing feelings for people because we have to understand that it's human nature to want a relationship. It's human nature to want someone to confide in, someone to support you, someone to love you, someone to look after you, to care about what you're doing. That's human nature. So if you start into this situation ship or you guys don't really know what your relationship is going to be and you guys hang out you develop feelings for them whatever the case is don't make yourself feel bad that you develop feelings for that person because you went through the steps to develop feelings for them so your partner might gaslight you and be like how why did you think that we were going to be dating i already told you i just want to hook up i already told you this or i already told you that but the way they treated you didn't align with what they were telling you. So they were telling you, oh, I don't really want anything from you besides sex. But they treated you like they would treat their girlfriend or they treated you like, oh, I'm going to take her out on a date or I'm going to hang out with her a lot or I'm going to text her every single day or I'm going to sleep with her and make her emotionally attached to me. And then gaslight her and be like, no, I never said any of this stuff. And even if my actions were different than my words, you should already know that I don't want you that's how relationship goes these days and it's not you you can't blame yourself for being in that situation and being the one who's being gaslit like oh my gosh what did i get myself into what is going on you can't blame yourself for having feelings for that person you can't because it's human nature but yeah we've we're trying to reprogram how we deal with manipulation or how we deal with someone gaslighting us when in reality it's a it's a valid response to be confused heartbroken hurt angry i feel like we've really gotten away from men being respectful of women and women being respectful of men because it comes down to that unity and that respect men have respect for women and women have respect for men but I'm not going to blame it all on men and say, oh, well, men don't treat women how they should. So women have just gone off the deep end and they don't respect men now. But that's kind of how it seems. I know that there's a lot of moving parts. There's so many things that go on with like systematically taking fathers out of homes and um, all of this type of stuff that makes the dynamics of families broken and then turn makes the person and their ability to have relationships broken and then it makes them have broken relationships and so it's not always that person's fault it may have been how they grew up but if they are cognitive of what they do if they're cognitive of the fact that they are manipulative or that they gaslight or they do this or they do that we're adults so it's time to own up to your mistakes it's time to own up to your behavior and realize this is how I this is not how I should treat people if I saw my family broken I saw my parents broken why would I in turn on purpose do this to another person I get if it's not on purpose but your partner brings it up to you or you start to see a pattern of behavior like oh I don't really treat people how I should every person I end up with is ends up heartbroken or ends up something and it's always my fault look at yourself look in the mirror look what you do wrong look at your parents relationships reflect and then be like is this how I want to live my life because we take so much from our parents not only do we take their DNA we take their behaviors we take their actions and how they handle situations and we take that as our own and we um, handle situations the same because of how we grew up but we can always reprogram our minds to respond to things differently or to respond to relationships differently and as society has gotten so far away from um, Christianity and the teachings of Christianity um, you can kind of see how sex is not valued and is not held to a divine standard as it was created because I feel like sex was created to bond a man and a woman and to make them just like fall more in love with each other they can have that intimate experience bonding experience that is supposed to be shared with someone who you love and who you care about and who is worthy of receiving that intimate space and that intimate experience and in turn it also allows us to recreate life like being able to have kids and 
make a baby is like the craziest thing to me and it's supposed to be sacred it's supposed to be um it's just supposed to be respected and it's not respected it's highly glorified to be promiscuous to um shake your booty on tiktok to be half naked in public to have a se- sex with as many girls as you want hit them and quit them don't let them spend the night have sex with them then leave them delete their phone number all this stuff and i mean women have as a defense mechanism i feel like have the same attitude where it's like i don't need a man i just want you for the sex and i just want to hit it and quit it i don't have emotions attached to you and i felt that way before like i've tried to detach myself from my emotions to not be hurt but in reality we're humans this is how we're programmed we're programmed to have emotions we're programmed this way we can't just reprogram how we're how we were created these situations that we go through they hurt because we're human and it's not supposed to be this way love is not supposed to leave you broken but be a compliment to your life and i understand that relationships fail i'm not saying that relationships are supposed to be perfect or there's not supposed to be hard times to grow that relationship i'm just saying that there shouldn't be abuse there shouldn't be mental manipulation there shouldn't be emotional physical abuse to where people are so screwed up from relationships that they've been in they're questioning themselves they're questioning their faith they're questioning their their purpose they're questioning their worth no relationship should make you feel that way at all it's not okay and i just feel like it needs to be said that christ has a perfect blueprint for how we can rightfully love each other and even when in marriage when christ says that women are supposed to submit to their husbands and be there for them and love them and you know carry their role and you know be the woman in the relationship the man is supposed to love his wife like christ loves the church and if you realize how much christ loves the church that he would die for us he died and he was innocent but he died for you and for me that's a lot of love and so it's not to be like oh wives submit to everything that your husband says like i mean have boundaries have roles like women do something men do something and it makes a cohesive pair women have roles men have roles it makes a cohesive pair it's not to be degrading it's not to um make women less than but i think that that's our human imperfection that makes us feel that way and how women have been treated um in history like i totally get it but i think that it's all about perspective and it and that scripture is not to belittle women but to unite them with their husbands who are supposed to take care of them who are supposed to be the head of the house like it's not that women can't have opinions like i definitely have opinions with my fiance we talk about everything he respects my opinion i respect his opinion if i think that we should do something a certain way we do it that way if we both agree if he's okay with that so i'm not saying that i just have to listen to everything my fiance says and anything that he says goes we have a working relationship where we talk to each other and we communicate with each other about things but essentially he is the man of the house and i want it to be that way i like it that way i want him to be the one to protect me and to um just be there for me and care for me and like support me in the way that i need to to be supported i can support him in the way that he needs to be supported like that is a beautiful working relationship to me so all this long-winded stuff to say that today in society relationships are glorified if they are toxic toxic relationships are glorified in this day and age i disagree with this type of hookup culture and i disagree with all this stuff because it leaves you broken and i have i wasn't saved my whole life so it's not like i haven't been in these probably exact situations that you watching may have been in I've been heartbroken. I've tried to use sex to repair relationships. I've tried to be, to change myself, to be what that person wanted. Or I I, uh, I put up with abuse. I put up with physical, not 
thank God I haven't put up with physical abuse, but I put up with mental abuse, mental manipulation, emotional abuse. Um, all for what? To leave me broken, to leave me confused. But one thing it did was teach me a lesson and teach me on what I need and what I deserve and what I expect in a relationship. Because without those terrible, toxic relationships where I was cheated on and I just felt like, why would, how could you do that when I would give you everything? I'll give you all of me, but I can't even get half of you. I've been in relationships like that, but I've just come out to the other side and been like, wow, I'm in such a healthy, beautiful, loving, respectful relationship. And I see why God designed relationships to be like this because it works and because we're able to prosper and comfort each other and be there for each other and lean on each other when our spirit is weak if you guys have any questions please leave it down below this is mostly like an open discussion you guys can definitely leave how you feel down below have you been in toxic relationships how have they made you feel have you grown from them are you in a toxic relationship are you in a situationship that just feels lost and hopeless but you feel really attached to that person like how do you deal with that i have so many stories and experiences that I can talk about um, that just really really hurt me but I'm ready to open up about them because I see my sisters going through the same thing and I'm like y'all I have the wisdom on these situations I've been through it all well I wouldn't say I've been through it all but I've been through a lot and so I can kind of spot how these young males or females or whatever are acting and um, I mean I've just seen it before you know it's just like when you get older you go through situations and you're like oh I've seen that before I don't want I, you shouldn't go down that path and this is why it left me broken everyone has to experience things for themselves but I don't feel like as a society we should glorify toxic relationships because they're not okay love your partner respect your partner and if you're not ready to commit to someone make it clear and make it known and also if someone makes it known to you that they don't want a relationship with you don't mess with them because honestly if you want a relationship you can't make that person want you and I think that that's a lot of the times what we do like oh no it's fine you don't want me I'm gonna make you want me no because they're not going to and they already told you that but your heart and your head are different you know something but your heart yearns for that person and that's what sex does that is what is so dangerous about being frivolous with your body because those emotions are attached to it and that person you are tied to that person if you have sex with them and so you we really need to be careful about who we choose to have the most intimate experience of life with that's why god says have sex with your wife or only have sex with your husband you know um keep that intimate keep that pure because it really is divine take from this video what you guys will i just hope that i touched on some advice or i touched on a subject that um really resonates with you you guys can let me know um again any questions down in the comment and you guys be blessed and be encouraged in jesus name amen